Early on in the development of neural networks, most activation functions were created to represent the action potential firing in a neuron, because after all, neural networks were originally inspired by how the brain works. The easiest way to represent the action potential is by having a function that is either active or not active, that is, 0 if the neuron isn't active, and 1 if it is active. That looks something like this, and it's called the heaviside step function. The problem we have here is that gradient-based methods can't use it to learn because it's not differentiable at 0 and the slope is 0 at all other values. We can try to fix this by modifying it so that instead of flat lines, the lines have a small slope, like this. However, it turns out that because this has the same slope the whole way through, except for right here at the jump at x equals 0, this is functionally equivalent to using a linear activation function. That is, if you use this activation function for your whole neural network, the output will be a linear combination of the inputs. This is less than ideal, as not all functions are linear, so we want a function that looks kind of like the heaviside step function, is nonlinear, and is differentiable at L points. AKA, we want something like this. There are a few different functions that look like this and have these properties, but the most commonly used one would be the sigmoid function.